What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so yeah, in our last episode, we went through all of this, all of that, yeah, we're running on the shore right here, and now we are in Sinewood City, and the funny thing is, guys, that we finally got to Sinewood City here in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and it is, a, believe it or not, there are a lot of things that you can actually find here than in the original version, like, for instance, uh, the Safari Zone and all that stuff. Now, first, is, first thing is first, we gotta go here because we're on a mission, we need to talk to this gentleman, he's like, huh, you need medicine? Your Pokemon appear to be fine. Is something worrying you? The Lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble. I got it. This ought to do the trick. And there you go, guys. We got ourselves a secret potion. And he's like, my secret potion is a tad too strong. I only offer it in, emer in an emergency. Hmm, what a nice guy. Very nice guy. So, that is mission number one. Number two, you can find the Sinewood City Gym around here. But the thing is, we're not going to go there right now. Now, let's see. There is a house right here where you can actually get yourself a free Pokemon. I'm not going to get it right now because I got, you know, quite a few Pokemon here. And this guy is like, boulders to the north, uh, boulders to the north of the town can be crushed. They may be hiding something. Your Pokemon could use Rock Smash to break them. That is true. Now, here is the entrance to the Safari Zone. Experience thrilling encounters with wild Pokemon to, for heart-to-heart -heart contact. The Safari Zone is around the corner of this entrance, which is true. Now, before we do anything, there is something that we see right up there. But before that, let's go ahead and do this. Talk to this person. I don't remember the last time someone came to visit me. When I was young, I was a Pokemon trainer too. I tried to reach the tower and dive into the ocean. I put a lot of effort in, into many things. Well, I take things easy now, listening to the waves and the winds of the, of the beach. That is so cool. Okay, so, yeah, there is a, a good old buddy, Suicune, and I have a feeling that where there's a Suicune, there's a way. Let's go right ahead and talk to this, this homeboy right here. Suicune just looks at us, bounce, 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 it acknowledges us, that's right. And, well, would you look at that, here's Yusi, and he's like, yo, Draven, wasn't that sweet, wasn't that Suicune just now? I only got a quick glimpse, but I, uh, I thought I, w I saw Suicune running on, on the waves. Suicune is beautiful and grand, and it races through towns and roads and simply awesome speeds. It's all it's wonderful. I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided. I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Come on, Draven. Let's battle now. Okay. Alrighty, so here it is, guys. A battle against Mystery Man you seen. Um, unfortunately, he's not really much of a Mystery Man, right? Okay, so here we have Hercules. Hercules, let's go with the horn attack. Yeah, let's make this guy, uh, let's make this guy faint. And, well, here comes a Hypnosis, so we're gonna speed through this. Yeah, going up against a Drowsy with Hypnosis on it is not a good idea. So, Dream Eater is not effective right here, so let's go with a Surf attack. Remember, remember, Heracross is still a Fighting-type Pokemon. And, well, that Hypnosis is gonna hit us, try and hit us, so here we go with a Body Slam. And Body Slam does its trick. Holy crud, okay. So, here comes an Electro. So let's go right ahead and switch it up to Thrasher. It has been a while, buddy. Let's go right ahead and use everything. Your, your whole strength and everything. Alrighty, Mystery Man, Euthleen. Let's go right ahead and uh, bring that Electrode out. So here comes the Dig Attack. And, well, look at this. Sonic Boom just hits us pretty good. Alright, look at that. We're, we're just digging. We're digging. Oh my god, and well, here comes another song boom, but this will not be effective, so here comes the dig attack. And because of that, it is super effective, but we get paralyzed because of that static effect. Alright, let's see if a double kick can actually do something, and here comes another sonic boom. Remember, it's an automatic 20 points right there, and look at this. Double kick. Oh yes. Say goodbye to Electro. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. 400 points, Thrasher. Getting 400 points himself, and here comes a Haunter. Let's go to Togepi, you know, a Pokemon that it cannot be affected by this whole thing right here. So, let's go right ahead and see what's up. Here comes Haunter. And, well, let's go with ex Extra Sensory. Unfortunately, we're gonna get put to sleep. And here comes a Mean Luck. 
And of course, we're gonna get cursed and affect by the curse. And there we go. Extra sensory works for us. And well, I think that's pretty much it right there. Holy crud. Okay, so Haunter about the Yeah, Haunter's not doing anything right there, so. There it is. We have defeated Mystery Man. You see, and he's like, I hate to admit it, but you win. Yeah, we 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 won easily. You're amazing, you Draven. I'm starting to understand why Suicune was keeping an eye out on you. I'm going to keep searching for Suicune. I have a feeling we'll see each other again. See you around. Okay, all righty. Uh, let's see. So this kid is not feeling good. It's trying to hard. It's it's really. Oh well, yeah, it's trying hard to keep up with this. Holy crud. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's see. Do we have anything to connect? No, it, we well we do. A heal uh, heal powder. So let's go right ahead and give that to Hercules right there. And well, I think that's pretty much it. Now let's go straight in here, the Safari Zone, because you know, uh, well we haven't gotten caught. So did you know they're constructing the Safari Zone just around the corner? They say it'll be really fun. You. You will see many kinds of Pokemon. There's no reason not to go, right? So I'm looking forward to the Safari Zone. Finished construction already. Holy crud. And, well, of course, these guys are saying that there's still a construction over at the Safari Zone. My assumption is that if you win, if you beat the gym leader here, you're going to definitely... You're definitely going to be able to, to get to the Safari Zone. So what's going to happen right now, guys, is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon, and then we're going to go straight into the Pokemon Gym, because we got stuff to do right here. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are back, guys, and, well, here we are in the Sinewood City Gym. And this place is obviously a fighting-type gym. Look at this guy. He's like, he's so into his training, he just doesn't, or he doesn't seem to notice you. So the name of the game is to take this, or get this stream of water away from Chuck. And, well, let's go right ahead. Come from behind on this guy. You know what? Let's just go right ahead and battle him with what we got. We martial artists feel nothing. Oh, fear nothing. Okay. Alrighty, so here it is. Take it on, Black Belt Lao. And he's going to be coming out with his Hitmonchan. I got myself my Hercules. Hercules, let's go with Aerial Ace. And there we go. Aerial Ace does its trick okay super effective and here comes a fire punch that right there it's not what i expected because well oh crud it holy crud that right there is bad but here comes another aerial ace and just like that hitmonchan has been defeated and well i think that's pretty much it right there with the with with lao and all that stuff okay so let's go right ahead and swoop and uh swoop on over right here I think, let's see, let me take a look at Cinder right here. Cinder, Cinder can battle these Pokemon trainers now, so let's go right ahead and take that item. Let's be strategic now. Let's go right ahead and start feeding the other Pokemon because, well, yeah. So, let's see. What can we do? What can we do? So, here we go. Experience share. Let's give that. Let's give that to Hercules because we need, we need him to grow up just a little bit. Let's give this charcoal to Cinder right here. And we got to give this magnet back to our good old buddy Fluffolt because we're going to need all the power we can get. And just for extra measure, let me see. Mm, the Mystic Water, yes. Let's go ahead and give this Mystic Water to Nessie. We're going to be very strategic about this, guys. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Miracle Seed, we don't have a grass type Pokemon, don't we? Okay, Quick Claw, I'm assuming we're going to give this to... We're going to give this to Thrasher because I kind of feel like he's going to be the slowest Pokemon right here. So, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Thank Thankfully, we got uh, Moo Moo Milk, so let's go ahead and give that to Hercules. Look at that, he's nice and fed. Okay. Let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight for Thrasher right here. And... Well, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna battle this guy right here. How's it going? Huh. My Raging Fist will shatter your Pokemon! So basically he's saying, uh, you know... So basically he is saying, These hands are rated E for everyone. I kinda believe them. So here we go, here it is, Thrasher, and well... Let's go right ahead and go for a Thrash Attack right here. And, well, I guess we were correct. We were gonna be a little bit slow, so here we go, Thrash Attack. And that right there nearly defeats Mankey. 
so here comes a thrash attack yet again. Thrasher with a th with an F thrash attack. And this one, wow, almost grows to level 26, and we are confused, so we're going to be switching up our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Togepri, and well, the advantage right here is Togepri is a flying-type Pokemon with a psychic-type move, so I think we, 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 we will be uh, able to do something right here. Here comes a Screech attack. That right there is not so effective. Here comes the Extra Sensory, and... This right here nearly defeats Primeape, so here we go again. Extra sensory and a screech attack has been thrown out. Holy crud! Alrighty, so here we go. Extra sensory for the win, and just like that goes Primeape. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that's another Pokemon down, and well, Mankey is about to come out, so let's go right ahead and do another. Another battle right here with Togepri, and go with an extra sensory. Let's go, and well, it missed. So here comes extra sensory, and well, look at that. Oh my god, Mankey has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, alrighty, and Hercules grows to level 25, and is now learning counter. That is a move that I wish I could teach it, but it's not really a useful one because it requires you to get physically hit. And, uh, yeah, that's not, that, that's definitely not something that we, we got right now. We can't really predict everything. So, there's that, there's that right there. Now, if we go right here, sneak up right behind this guy. Words are useless. Let your fists do the talking. Ah, the fist. The fist of fury. Fist of fate. There's a lot of, uh, fist of the dragon. There's a lot of fist and a lot of, uh, fist of what? So here we go, taking on a Machop, and then we're going to be going straight for another Thrash attack. Okay, and there we go, Machop. Nearly defeated, here comes a Focus Energy. Alrighty, alrighty, okay, so let's go right ahead and use another Quick Wall, just to get a heads up on this guy, and there we go. Machop defeated, and yes, look at this, we get to level 26, very, very, or very useful right there. And, well, we are now confused due to the fatigue. So here comes a Machoke. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Nessie right here. Now, it is a risk using Nessie since it is both a water and ice type Pokemon. So just be aware that, you know, it is, it is, it is going to be weak against any kind of fighting type Pokemon. So let's set the tone right here. Let's go with a Body Slam attack. And hopefully it gets paralyzed or something. No, it doesn't. Here comes a Karate Chop. Crap Baskets. And that right there takes like half my HP. Let's go with the Surf Attack. Come on, Mystic Energy or Mystic Water. Finish this guy off. And just like that, we have defeated Machoke. Okay, alrighty. Okay, and we have defeated Nob. He is not so happy right now. Hmm. Okay, so we have to defeat one more trainer, I think. I don't know. Could be. I don't know. So let's go towards the other side right here and face this guy, and he's gonna be looking at us. He's gonna be like, My Pokemon and I are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Taking on Yoshi, not the reptile, but Yoshi. And here we go, taking on a Hitmon Lee. Let's go right ahead and do this. Let's go with a dig attack. Let's go for a dig attack right here and. Yes, we use our Quick Claw. Alrighty. What's up? Focus Energy. Oh, wow, we should have done that. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Dig Attack. And this one will almost defeat him only. Okay. And here comes the Meditate Attack right here. Okay, come on. Bring it on. Let's go for a Thrash Attack. And, well, that Meditate is going gonna, gonna to increase this guy's attack. But here comes the Thrash, and just like that, we have defeated Hitmonlee, getting some more points. Okay, and Yoshi, the Reptile, has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So let's go right ahead and take care of this button situation. So if you go right here, there's a large winch. Will you turn it? Yes, we will. So we turn to we turn to winch, and there it is. No more, no more waterfall onto this guy right here. So, let's go right ahead and get ready for this battle right here. Now, here is our good old buddy. I can't remember his name. Kurt, I think. I think his name is Kurt. I don't know. Could be wrong. 
And there we go, Nessie. All powered up and everything to go. Let's see what these guys. Oh, his name is Chuck. Okay. <laughs> the pounding waterfall right onto my head. Ugh. Why did you stop the waterfall from pouring on me? You just spoiled my training. I have to warn you that I am a strong trainer at training or training uh, training every day under this waterfall. What? It was nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Da, 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 da. Come on, we shall battle. Okay. Let's go right ahead and take on Chuck right here. So as you guys can see, this guy looks like a overweight version of Akuma, and he is going to be coming out with his Primeape. Okay, let's go. Let's go right ahead and focus energy right here using our Quick Wall just to, just to you know, power up right here. And Primeape right now is looking at me going with Rock Slide. Now, the trick is I want this Pokemon to physically hit me. That way it can be poisoned. Get what I, where I'm going at, but this guy right here is faster than us. And, uh, well, let's go with a Thrash Attack. Hopefully this is a critical hit. And nope, it is not a critical hit. Here comes another Rock Slide. Oh my god. Oh my god. So that right there hits us and we are flinchy. Okay, so come on. This guy's going for Rock Slides. This is getting really annoying. And here we go with a Thrash Attack. Please let it be a crit. And that was not a crit. And here comes a double team attack. So Chuck has really trained this Pokemon very, very well. And here we go. A Thrash Attack yet again. And that nearly defeats Primate. As you guys can see, now Chuck is uh, healing up his Primate. And because of that, we are now confused. Holy buckets. Okay. We gotta train it. We gotta switch up our Pokemon right here. So let's go with Hercules. And here comes the. Well, the double team attack, but luckily for us, we do have a move that can actually help us. Aerial Ace for the win. And there we go, getting some more points. And here comes a Polyrath. This guy is going to be a little tougher than uh, than expected. So we're going to be switching out, and we're going to be going to Fluffolt right here. All right, Fluffolt. Bring it. All right, so Polyrath, both a water and fighting type Pokemon. Do be careful, because this Pokemon does like to use Hypnosis and all that stuff. And, well, crap baskets we don't have. Okay, we do have something right here. And that is a Chesto Berry. And there is a Focus Punch. Now it is paralyzed, so luckily for us, we're gonna... Yeah, we're definitely gonna go for this right here. He's tightening his Focus, and crap! Crap baskets! Okay, so that, 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 that right there is annoying. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with extra sensory right here. And there we go. And wow, okay, so here comes a surf attack. Let's go with the sweet kiss. And there we go. And it is confused. Please hurt yourself. Please hurt yourself. Don't hurt me. And look it. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely not doing so well right now. Let's go with this guy right here. Alrighty, so body slam. Body slam. Body slam. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so this focus punch is really getting on our tits right here. Okay. I can do this. Let's go with an aerial ace. And it cannot move, so let's go again. Another aerial ace. And that right there nearly takes out the polyrath. So we're down to our last two Pokemon. And, of course, he's going to try and... Uh... Okay, so he's putting us on a sleep right here. Let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and revive a few Pokemon, because right now it's looking a little sloppy. And this one, it really hits us hard. So let's go with Togepi. And let's go with a Charm. And Extra Sensory. That one hits it, and it's Focus Punch. Hits it, doesn't hit. And well, here we go again. Extra Sensory for the win. Togepi saves us. And just like that, bam, we win. Look at this, Togepi gets the level 27. Alrighty, it wasn't gonna be pretty, but it was gonna be something. So there it is, guys, we have defeated Chuck. Alrighty, okay. Hmm, I lost. How about that? All right, you're worthy of the Storm Badge. There it is, guys, throwing out the peace sign. Okay, so we won in a very ugly fashion, and uh, well, He's like saying, he's saying this, with the Storm Badge, Pokemon can fly to, can use fly to 
or Pokemon can fly to any city or town you've already been to. Here, take this too. We get ourselves the TM-01, which is Focus Punch. And, uh, well, it doesn't land if your foe is attacking and hits you first, but it's very powerful if it managed to hit. <laughs> I enjoyed battling with you, but a loss is a loss. From now on, I am going to train 24 hours a day. That is uh, kind of a scary thought right there. So, after defeating Chuck, his wife will notice that you just came out of the gym victorious, and she's going to be like, that's the Sinewood City Gym! Oh, uh, gym badge! Then you should take this HM. And there you go, guys. We got the HM02. That right there is fly, and it will be able to fly anywhere you have visited. Okay, and well, of course, our mother's going to call because she's got more items for us. She bought us a, a new item. We should be thankful for our mothers, guys. We really should. Okay, so... That is pretty much it right there, guys. In the next episode, we're going to go back to Olivine City. And we're going to be challenging for our... What was it called? Let's see. This is not gym battle number five. Yeah, this is... Uh, we're going to be challenging for gym battle number six. Yeah. Wow, we already had six badges. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.